Welcome to the Dragon Table. This is part two of the video series on how to play Through the Ages, a new story of civilization. In this video, I'm going to go through details of how to take all the actions I described in the last video through all of the civil actions. So now let me go into detail about how you actually do each of those actions. When you take a card from the row, you spend civil actions equal to the number of circles below that card. For instance, these cards is one, these cards is two, and these cards cost three. The card is then placed in your hand. If it's a wonder card, it goes in your play area sideways instead. Your hand limit is the same as the number of civil actions you can take. So at the beginning of the game, that's four cards. Be careful what you choose because there is no way to discard civil cards. If you choose a leader, you may only take one leader per age even if you don't play it from your hand. If you're choosing a technology card, which is any card with a science symbols in the top left corner, you cannot take the same kind of technology that you already have. So if you already have a Knight's card, you cannot take another one. The yellow action cards cannot be played on the same turn in which they're picked up. You may choose to increase your population. If you do so, you pay one civil action, you pay the amount of food that's noted underneath the most full part of your bank. In this case, two food. That means you would take two blue cubes from your farm area and place them back in your bank. And then you would move one yellow cube into your worker pool. You may choose to build a farm or a mine. In order to do so, you must have one free worker and you must be able to pay in resources the number in the red circle on the card. For instance here, agriculture requires two resources and bronze also requires two resources. So you could build another bronze mine by paying two resources and then placing one worker on that card. That will increase the production of either food or resources depending on which structure you build. You can build an urban building. Urban buildings are gray-backed and they include the science type structures and religious structures. Uh, you must pay the amount on the card. In this case, this would be three resources to build philosophy, three resources to build religion. At the beginning of the game, you're only going to have two resources, so you can't build either one of those yet unless you had a card that gave you a benefit that would let you do so. The number of buildings you can have of each type is limited by your government. At the beginning of the game, you have depotism. Depotism means you can only have two of each type of building. For instance, you could only have two religious buildings until you upgrade your government type. These restrictions do not apply to farms or mines. In future turns, you will be able to upgrade your buildings when you have the next level of technology available for a given building, for instance, after bronze, perhaps you get iron. Then if you want to upgrade to an iron mine, you would have to pay the difference between these two structures. To upgrade, you would do uh, five minus two is three. If you had three resources to spend, you could pay those and move one worker up. If you want, you can destroy a building. To do that, you simply take the worker off that building and put it back in your worker pool. This doesn't give you any resources back, it just frees up a worker. You may play a leader. You pay one civil action and place the leader in your play area. Then you'll adjust any statistics necessary or take note of the benefit that your new leader gives you. If you're replacing an existing leader, then you get one civil action back. You could choose to build a stage of a wonder. This wonder stages are one resource, then four resources, then one resource. In order to build a stage, you pay one civil action, and then you pay the number of resources, in this case, one. But you also have to place one resource on the card to indicate that you've built that stage. That resource and any further resources that are placed on the Wonder card stay there until the Wonder is completed. The next stage of this Wonder requires four resources. 
When you build this stage, you still only place one blue cube on the wonder in order to indicate that that stage has been built. You do not place four. You may build multiple stages of a wonder on a single turn, but each one costs one civil action. If you complete a wonder, put the blue tokens back in your bank, then straighten the card and update any necessary statistics. For instance, this card, the Library of Alexandria, gives you plus one culture rating and plus one science rating. You also get to hold one additional civil card and one additional military card in your hand. You may choose to develop a technology. In order to do so, you pay one civil action, and then you pay the science cost in the upper left corner of the technology card. Then you put the technology card into play. Then move your marker down on the science score track in order to indicate that you've paid for the card. The irrigation technology card is an upgraded farm. So in order to put it into play, you would place it on top of the agriculture card on your player board. There are also special or blue technologies, such as code of laws and warfare. You may not have more than one of the same type of special technology. For instance, code of laws is a government technology and warfare is a military technology. You may choose to change your government. Government cards are kind of a technology. They will have a science value in the top left corner. If you choose to change your government peacefully, then you pay the science points at the top left quarter, in this case six for theocracy. If you change by revolution, then you have to spend all of the civil actions you have available that turn and pay the smaller amount of science points, in this case one. You would then replace your existing government with the new one. If your new government gives you more civil actions than your old one had, the leftover civil actions cannot be used that turn. You may choose to play an action card. Action cards are yellow and cannot be played in the same turn that they are chosen. But you would pay one civil action and then take the action on the card and then the card is discarded. Let me show you some examples of these first action cards. Most of these are fairly self-explanatory. With frugality, you increase your population and after you pay the food cost, you gain one food back. So you have to have the food initially to start with. Cultural heritage, you simply score one science point and four culture points. Stockpile, you gain one resource and one food. Urban growth, you can build or upgrade an urban building and pay one resource less. With engineering genius, you can build one stage of a wonder and you pay two resources less. With any of these cards, you spend the action and then you spend a civil action and then you take the action associated with the card. You don't have to spend two actions. For instance, if you want to use Engineering Genius, you spend one civil action to play this card, build the stage of the wonder, and that's it. You do not have to pay another civil action to actually build the wonder. In the next video, I'll go over the military actions that you can take, how end of turn works, how the politics phase happens, and what happens at the end of the game. Thanks for visiting the Dragon Table. I'll see you next time.